My name is Paul Manley. I'm the International Trade and Investment Critic for the Green Party of Canada. The Green Party of Canada has a number of issues with the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Number one, we're not happy with the way that this agreement was negotiated. It was done secretly. It, it included corporate leaders, but it didn't include leaders of civil society, labor organizations, environmental organizations, organizations that represent consumers or health and safety. We're very concerned with the investment chapter. As you may know, Canada has faced a number of uh, investor state dispute settlement uh, arbitrations. We've paid out hundreds of millions of dollars and we're facing billions of dollars in arbitration in these secretive tribunals and they have mostly been around environmental issues. So we're very concerned about the investor state chapter in the TPP. It looks very much like NAFTA. It uses the same kind of language, indirect expropriation, minimum standards of treatment, etc. And so we, we're going to see increased investor state dispute settlement action arbitration under the TPP and it's going to uh, expose us to more corporations that are looking to you know seeking damages when we protect our environment or our health and safety standards. We're concerned about the intellectual property chapter that this is going to increase the cost of drugs as generic drugs take longer to get on the market and there are concerns from the tech industry here with the copyright provisions that we are going to lose our innovative edge in Canada and uh, just see more of that innovation happening in the United States. We're concerned about agriculture. We're not happy about having dairy products imported into Canada that aren't labeled and that, that have uh, bovine growth hormone hormone in them, so that's a concern. We're also concerned about the uh, provisions for genetically modified organis organisms, so that uh, GMOs, if we decide we want them labeled or we want uh, you know, better standards around GMOs, that that could be um, disputed using investor state again. We are concerned that the environmental provisions in this agreement are not obligatory, they're more like suggestions, and that climate change isn't mentioned in the agreement, and that's the, the biggest environmental uh, problem we face right now. We're concerned about financial services and uh, those provisions in, in the trade agreement, and how deregulation of financial services will become the norm and it'll be more difficult for the Canadian government to to regulate things like derivatives, uh, hedge funds and the inclusion of uh, financial services that haven't yet been uh, or financial instruments that haven't yet been invented so we're concerned about that chapter as well. Some of the countries involved in the TPP do not have the greatest human rights record, Brunei and Vietnam for example, and we're concerned about their labor standards, we're concerned about their human rights standards, and we think that if we're going to be doing trade with these countries that we should be working on building up their standards uh, before we open up trade with them. We're concerned about the rules of origin and how that will affect our manufacturing base. We're going to see uh, this chip away further at our auto industry as, as uh, parts manufacturers and the parts in cars, the, the percentage of, of those parts is going to be lower and also that uh, countries outside of the TPP are going to be able to use the TPP rules to uh, import car parts into Canada and into the North American market. So those are the key concerns that we have. Uh, there's there's more that we could get into. We could talk about this for quite a bit of time, but uh, those are just touching on some of our key concerns. Thank you.